you're up, then. That is a surprise. Look, if you just come here to have a go at me, I ain't got time right now. What I've got to say won't take long. Right, well, go on, then. Spit it out. Congratulations. You made the front page. And centre spread. I know you've been through a lot recently, but... It's no excuse. How could you do something like that? I was messed up. I uh, panicked. I made a mistake. Yes, one of many before you stick the flaming boot in, but I am trying to make up for it. Oh, really? And uh, how exactly do you make up for abandoning a baby, hmm? Eh? My brother's baby. Oh, hang on a minute. Does our Kevin even know about it? Oh, I need to go. Oops, your horses! I asked you a question! No, it doesn't! But I did realise I was up the stick until just before I had it, all right? How could you not realise you were pregnant? What are you, 15? It's complicated. Look, now, I've told you, I ain't got time for this. I've got to go to the hospital. Why? The... He's not very well. The baby, there's, there's something wrong with his bowel and he's having an operation later today. Right, I'm coming with you. No, you're not. It's my brother's baby and all, you know, in case you'd forgotten. Is everything all right? Mind your own beeswax. What's it got to do with you? Well, not that it's any of your business, but Abby's asked me to act as her legal representative. For what? I'm afraid that's confidential. Oh, well, you're going to have your work cut out with a track record, aren't you? You are harassing my client. Now, if you don't want me to call the police, I suggest you leave us alone. Client? That's one word for her. I'll give you another one. Druggy! Sorry about that. Oh, aye, it's not your fault. Oh, yeah, you've heard the news then? Yep. Look, I was gonna um, call you, but I didn't get the chance. The hospital rang this morning. Alf is having his operation later today. Uh, my my cars are on the corner. I can tell you. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. <laughs> 